Hello, everybody. So, this is the very first Odin-class carrier I'm thinking about releasing. The cladding is not yet done, but it won't be intended to go into heavy combat, so I don't think it's going to be quite as heavily cladded as you might think. Let's go ahead and take you on a tour. I think you'll be very impressed. Remember that this is a vanilla ship. First things first, this is a carrier, and as such, let's go on a quick tour of the landing area. This is where 12 drones can land, 3 on each orthogonal axis. Remember that these drones can automatically park and launch, so you don't have to do any of the landing or launching for them. In the front, there is room for one ultra-heavy drone, which can be of any size at all, and uh, this is where the ship gets its name. It's the Odin's Nose, because it has a huge nose, and you stick it where it doesn't belong. These are four Gatling guns, and in the back are going to be four missile turrets, so the Gatling guns will try and keep missile fire from hitting you, and the missiles will try and discourage anyone from chasing you. There are a couple more interesting features to this ship, but I'd like to note that this is tiny, 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 tiny. Um, it only has one maneuvering engine left and right, and two in every other direction, and that's all it needs. Let's go inside and take a look. Tiny airlock. And this is the interior. This interior is larger than the rest of the volume of the ship, I think. It's close. It's about 50% of the volume of the ship. Here's the part I don't like. I couldn't figure out a better way to do this. This is where you stick your commands for your AI fleet, and I'll be preloading them, of course. So you'd stick things like uh, launch or sleep or things like that in here, and that would let you actually activate those commands and send them to your fleet. And the buttons down on the floor, you know, you pick and choose which one you're going to send that way. This is the uh, all-important maintenance area where you get your uh, uh, medical treatment, your vent, and your gravity. Because this is vanilla, it was a little bit difficult, but I went ahead and made a toilet and a little bit of a TV viewing area. And some beds. Oh! I guess I got the toilet mirror facing the wrong way. Whatever. These two chairs up front, these are the AI control chairs. They can handle drone piloting and they can also manage the AI systems. Right now the only AI that's turned on is Sleepnir. We'll talk about him later on. In the end there will be four AI. Freya will handle oxygen and power. Sleepnir does some magic stuff I'll show you later. Tyr handles damage control and drawing the ship. And Odin handles all of the drone stuff. This is the drone control room. Because each of these panels will have a background color designating whether the drone is active or passive or out of range or whatever, you'll be able to quickly see all of the drone's characteristics even though you can't see all of the screens. So you'll just be able to check the color coding and see, oh, well, those drones are out of commission and so on and so forth. You can toggle drones on and off individually using these buttons, but there are also hotkeys so that you can toggle them on in sets of four while you're sitting in this chair here. Even from within this chair you can see all of the drones at once, their states. So this is how it looks from the outside. And how's the performance? Well it's really quite good. Now the cladding will slow it down some, but take a look. For a carrier, this is really really great. Now I'm going to be adding maybe two or four more gyroscopes to keep it this snappy even after we have uh, the toilet just exploded. I'll have to fix that. I'm going to go ahead and add some more gyroscopes to keep it this snappy even after I've added more armor, but the basic idea is here, and I like the way that that back looks, that, that engine system. It turned out pretty good. It works great. Uh, it's the equivalent of nine large ship large engines but it takes up as much space as five of them. And it's lighter. It's like one-tenth the, the weight. It's great. Let's go ahead and take a look at our turret. Oh, we broke it. We broke our turret. I guess I don't know enough about turrets. Uh, I thought that this turret would work fine, but I've clearly busted it. And the toilet wasn't what broke, it was a turret that broke. Okay. So, I don't know enough about turrets to really be able to be comfortable with this, but I'll go ahead and show you the idea, and I'll keep working on it until it works, even at full acceleration. This is a simple turret. 
and if it works, it just has the standard mm, degrees of oh, I think I what I think what happened is it just snapped back and slammed into the pavement. Well, either way, it's a very simple turret, but you notice what it doesn't have. It doesn't have any guns. Now, most people think that turrets are uh, outdated with the advent of automated turrets. I mean, there's no reason to have these kinds of turrets if you can have an automated turret. That's not entirely true, though, because I can tell where you're pointed with this turret. And to do that, all I need to have is two points of access. And so, you know, I've got the camera, and then I've got the, the remote control, which, which blew up. Uh, and so those are my points of access, and using those, I can tell exactly where you're pointing. And that means that if you wanted to, you could point at that, that asteroid way over there, and you could zoom way in and take a look. And then you could click a button, and your drones would fly out towards that asteroid and mine it. Or, in this case, attack it, because these are all military drones. This gives you the ability to control your drones and wings very, very rapidly and precisely without ever having to worry about like a bevy of complex commands or tilting the whole ship. It's going to be doubly important on the large carriers later, but it is cool on this carrier as well. It's just a shame that I suck so bad at building them. <laughs> so that is the basic idea. This is a very, very snappy little microcarrier uh, with 13 drone capacity, a crew of three or two, and uh, an unusual set of engines. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll be releasing this at some point, uh, probably this weekend or so. I do have some bugs to work out, as you can see.